In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the tracking shipping label and make it into a file that you can send to your customer. So you'll get an email from Walmart that looks like this, and it's typically from FedEx. And in, in the email, it'll say print your label. So we're going to hit print your label. Now you have to click on the actual item that's being shipped, and then you hit select label, print selected label. So now the label is going to come up. <clears throat> so what I do is I am on uh, Windows 10 and I use, um, I use paint um, to do this. I'm sure you can do this in, um, in another program um, like Photoshop or something like that. But th this is how I do it and it's, it's pretty easy. So what I do is I hit print screen. There's a button on your keyboard that says uh, PRTSC for print screen. And then I come down here to paint. I hit new. I then hit, uh, you, can, you can't right click and paint. So I hit control V. Here's the label. I come up into crop and I kind of crop it just a little bit, kind of make the label a little bit larger. So I come about, I don't go way down here, I come about, about here and then I go just at the line. Okay, and then I hit menu and paint 3D. I hit menu, I hit image. So you can select JPEG or PNG or whatever the case may be. Um, I've been using PNG, but, but you can use JPEG if you like. You want to you wanna rename it. And then you put it, I put it at my desktop, but you can put it wherever you like, as long as you know where it's at. And then I hit save. Now once that is complete, here it is right here on my desktop. There's the label, and then you go into um, eBay and you send your customer this label. Now, there's two ways you can do it. If the customer did not open up a case against you um, inside of eBay about a return, um, and they just simply messaged you and said, hey, you know, I need to return this, and you've worked it out already with the customer, then you can just go um, into his his message and you can send it to him that way. Everything is documented in messages, so you're covered if anything happens with um, with eBay. eBay can look through the messages and see this. If if they did open up a case against you, then you would just simply upload. It's very easy. It's self-explanatory. You would just upload this inside of eBay. I don't have a case right now to show you, so I can't show you how to upload it. Maybe I'll do another video uh, if somebody does that. So that's pretty much it. That's how you um, change it into a um, into a JPEG, so you can send to your customer without any problems. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.